Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to get my hair did. <laughs> yes, I am. Thank goodness. I am in major need, as you can see, the nice gray coming out there and waving at y'all. <laughs> So I'm getting my hair uh, trimmed, not uh, not too much. I'm gonna let it grow a little bit more and colored. And then I'm eating Chris for lunch. So, you know, that's what we always do <laughs> every day. Look, it's raining today here in Virginia. It is a rainy, yucky day. It's We're supposed to, our temperature is 73 right now, but our temperatures are supposed to really drop in the next couple of days here and we're supposed to be down in the low 80s by next week and then 60s at night I'm like oh my goodness that's gonna be a pleasure and to some of you 80s might seem really warm but to us that's cool almost <laughs> trust me <laughs> oh my goodness hey right, let me get out on the road here oh, I just had a flash flood warning come up we've had copious amounts of rain this week which of course we're never going to complain about really because we were so dry and things were it was almost to drought type you know uh, conditions honestly so it's really good to see the rain and uh, but now it's like overkill it's like feast or famine you know <laughs> so but we had it was pouring last night and it's been foggy and and got up this morning and all of our windows were all fogged up because it's a lot cooler inside than it is out but now it's it seems like the temperature's trying to drop a little bit i don't know what the high is supposed to be anyway i didn't come on here talking about <laughs> weather for goodness sakes i have a couple of questions most of the questions that you guys uh left me the other day i was able to answer pretty quickly uh within the video comments so if you ask me a question and you're waiting for me to say it you might want to check back on your comment there uh there are, so that you know to see if i i might have left you an answer there so uh but anyway i've got a couple of questions here but i also want to tell you after i'm done my chit chat here uh stay tuned because i take a i took a little video yesterday my back is still tweaked you guys i'm sorry as you all know who those of you who deal with back pain sometimes you know it takes a while for for a backache to resolve and all of my back aches that i ever get stem from an old injury that i got on a, on a school bus years and years and years ago for those of you who haven't heard i got uh was standing taking attendance for a drumline competition we were going to a drumline competition i was standing in the in the you know in the bus we were not i didn't think ready to take off and all of a sudden the bus driver kind of popped the clutch and started to go and there when i i went down the uh the middle aisle of the of the bus and thank goodness for a couple of the band kids that kind of broke my fall but my back hit the edge of the seat one of the seats and ever since then that was a pretty bad injury I didn't break anything but it was a pretty bad injury pretty bad you know uh muscle pull and bruise and you know and ever since then you know i will every now and again as you all know who've been with me for a long time you know i come up with a backache every now and again and it you know all i have to do is breathe different you know or it, it for those of you with back problems probably know or i don't i wouldn't say that i have back problems i do not i absolutely do not but every now and again it gets me like this so anyway i went ahead and did the guest bedroom uh yesterday because i i just honestly I did not, I, when you have to carry your camera around with you and have to move it and have to fix it and have to put it into different positions and make sure your camera angles are right and everything, y'all, I just didn't have it in me to do all that yesterday because that is a job to do that. Every time you see us, those, those of us here on YouTube who are doing these, uh, you know, decorate with me videos and things like that, they are, that's a lot of work you know for us to get our it's our cameras our camera angles and to make sure you can hear us and to make sure that our back of our hair looks okay 
<laughs> you know, and all of that stuff. So I went ahead and did it last night. And in the end, I really didn't have that much stuff. I didn't have as much stuff in the drawers as I thought I did. And I got rid of, <clears throat> pardon me, I got, pardon me, I only got rid of a couple of things. Uh, and I, there was some Epsom salts up in the top of the closet. I got rid of those. <laughs> you know, and a couple of things that, you know, just needed to be gotten rid of because they were just older than, you know, Methuselah. So I went ahead and did it last night, but I took a video after I was done. Now the video, you will not see the bed made up. I may get that done when I get back and take a couple of pictures for you with the bed made up and, you know, everything in place. Uh, but Right now, in in the video clip that I'm going to show you, the bed is not made up because I stripped it to do the sheets and everything. I I washed all the sheets. I washed the the quilt that goes on the top. I washed all the towels, all the washcloths. I washed everything I found up there <laughs> yesterday. So I was a busy girl, but it was just it was enough for me to do that. Then then to add the the. Uh, videoing on top of it. So please forgive me for not putting all of that on video. I will show you, I do show you in the clip what I, you know, what I did and I show you everything. So, uh, but please forgive me for not putting that on video. I just, you know, I actually, I have to be honest with you guys. I sat and I was tearing up. Sorry. In my rocking chair yesterday and Chris looked at me and goes, what is wrong with you? And I said, I feel so guilty. I feel so bad for not being able to get this on video. He says, Arlen, he says, I read through your comments all the time and your subbies are going to understand. They love you. They are going to understand. And you guys are the best of the best of the best. You guys are, are in my heart and I appreciate you guys so much. And I appreciate you being patient with me. You know, as we've worked through this odd kind of time here, you know, transitioning between whateverness, patriotic and kind of back to generic decor wise, you know, I'm talking about. And then to um, this this time getting ready for our company, which I've really enjoyed and cannot wait to see them, you know. So, uh, but I felt bad and he said, you, you got to stop. He said, you got to stop feeling guilty. He said, they are not gonna worry about if you come back and show them every little thing that you did. And I'm like, I oh, know they won't. They're sweet. But anyway, here's my questions. <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to yammer too long because I do have a little bit of footage. I don't know. It's like five or six minutes, maybe, maybe more of footage. So I want to, you know, try to keep this to a decent time here. I know they've been around 40 minutes, which I know is sometimes long for some of you guys. So here we go. I've got two questions. Uh, <clears throat> one that asked me, the first one is from Elizabeth, Elizabeth Maddinson, M-A-T-T-I-N-S-O-N, Maddinson. Arlene, can you name your five, your top five crafting tools that you love the most and why you wouldn't want to be without them? Thank you. Uh, and, I, and I picked five here. <laughs> uh, number one is my hot glue gun. And I'm going to add one more to this too. Uh, is my hot glue gun. I, I don't know how people ever, if they ever made a wreath, you know, how they ever put a wreath together, you know, or put other projects together. You know, I use my hot glue gun for a lot more than just projects, you know, so and my funky bow toppers, it helps to keep the, you know, the uh, florals in there. And, you know, I just love my hot glue gun. I really do. But anyway, Chris got me this really nice hot glue gun a couple of years ago because I do craft so much and I make a lot of stuff, you know. And he actually pulls it out and uses it sometimes on some of his stuff. So I would say number one is my hot glue gun. And I would not want to do without it. I would not want to do without it because it would just make things more difficult. You know, sometimes when you just can't get things to stay in any other way, putting a dot of hot glue on it or doing my florals and my funky bows and, you know. Uh, so I love my hot glue gun. I think that's, that's number one. Okie dokie. So number two. Uh, of my list of five, my five favorite things, and I'm going to add a bonus in the end. <laughs> uh, my second one is my snippers, my wire cutters. Oh my gracious. I probably pull them out with every project I do. Every wreath I make, every bow topper I make, every centerpiece I make, 
every, you know, everything. I, I pull it out for everything, not to mention, you know, I, in fact, I just took uh, hangers apart yesterday and I had to take use my snippers to get them apart because they had like a plastic tie wrap around them. And I'm like, who does that? You know, when you, you can't get it apart with your, you know, bare hands. <laughs> so I would say that that's number two or my snippers. I call them my snippers, they're wire cutters. And I believe I have them linked in my Amazon shop. My hot glue gun is also linked in my Amazon shop. So under craft tools, I believe. So my snippers would be number two. Number three, my wreath easel, which is, <laughs> I call it a wreath easel. It's not, <laughs> it's just a, a, an easel, a little wooden easel that uh, Chris has put a nail on the top of it and I can, or a screw in the top of it and I can hang my wreath form on there and I can set my wreath up to make it, you know, many, many, many years for, for decades, you guys, for decades, I made my wreaths laying flat, you know, and I didn't have a way to put them up. And, and, you know, when you hang them up, sometimes they look a little different than they do when you have them laying on your counter, you know, laying flat down. So that has been a godsend to me that I've been able to, you know, lift up my wreaths and make them, you know, with them, tilt it up so that I can, you know, see what the final product is going to be a little bit better. So I really enjoy that, my wreath easel. And I get it from, I call it, again, I call it my wreath easel. It's not. It's just, you know, an easel for, you know, somebody to paint a picture, you know, to put a canvas on. And I got it at Hobby Lobby and I think it's $30, but I paid half price for it, you know, or 40% off one or the other. So uh, it has an, an adjusting little handle that, or a little a little, well, I guess it's a handle or it's a adjustable piece of wood that you can move up and down, unscrew it and move it up and down. So uh, that's one of my favorite things that I just discovered, I guess, since I've been on YouTube, you know? So that's number three. Number four, my tie wraps. <laughs> oh my gracious me. I, again, I use tie wraps in a lot of projects, especially when I do sprays, especially when I do sprays or when I'm putting together a, a funky bow topper and I have a big swag on the back of it. You know, I use the tie wraps. Tie wraps hold things a lot better than pipe cleaners. And they just, they just secure things better. It's just tighter. You don't have to worry about them falling apart or, or especially the bows. You know, when I put my, my big swag, uh, you know, like I make a swag before I put the bow on it. Sometimes even on my wreaths, I do it this way. And then I use tie wraps to secure the bow onto the swag. And then for wreaths, I use the tie wraps to secure the entire swag bow and all onto whatever I'm making. And I know that that is not going anywhere. And there has not been a time in my life. I just discovered, again, I discovered tie wraps through other YouTubers watching them use them. And I'm like, Whoa, they're pretty nice. You know, and I always saw Chris using them for this and that through the years, but I never thought to use them. Where was my brain for my crafting, you know? So tie wraps, and then I have down here pipe cleaners as number five. And I go through a lot of pipe cleaners, you guys, uh, with my bows. That's how I secure my bows. And somebody was asking me that in a, in a question one time, but that's what I use to, to secure my bows, to, to tie my bow shut or pipe cleaners. And I don't really use them for much else, but I make a lot of bows, as you all know. And uh, so, pipe cleaners would be number five. And then I'm going to do a little bonus and I'm going to say glue dots. <laughs> yes, glue dots. Danielle over there, Danielle's decor. By the way, we did hear from Danielle. You guys ask me all the time about our sweet, wonderful Danielle. <laughs> and she and I texted last week a day and she was saying that she's going to be trying to come back with some uh i think some fall ideas some fall decor and stuff soon so you know know that that our sweet danielle will be back when she can when she can you know she's a busy mama over there she's taking care of her kids and you know she's had a lot going on so you know she will be back though 
<laughs> I just love that girl. I tell you, she is, oh, she is just so sweet. And her mama too, Linda, her mama too. Those are the two that I traveled to uh, Nashville with last summer. Gosh, can you believe, Danielle, if you're watching that that's been a year, over a year since we were there. I can't even believe that. And what a year it's been, eh? Gee whiz. But anyway, she introduced me to glue dots. And you can find them in my Amazon shop too. Uh, linked in the, I, I believe, crafting supplies. Uh, they help secure, oh my goodness, any number of things on top of, say, let's say I want to put a sphere, for instance, on top of a candle holder. It secures it because the sphere might be heavier than other things and it might tilt off, you know. So, I, I mean, it's just, it holds uh, decor in place within arrangements, within my centerpieces. It, I mean, they, I, I can't even name everything that I've used glue dots for, but they are amazing. I love them. I don't know how I crafted without them. I swear to goodness, I don't. <laughs> I love them. Glue dots, glue dots. So those are my five with a bonus favorite crafting tools you know or favorite and that was that how you ask it yeah crafting tools so yeah I could probably go on and name a few more but I'll stop there <laughs> so okay number two I'm getting not too too close but I'm getting a little bit close to my hairdresser here so uh, okay this one is from Olivia L Harlan you ramble on I work from home and don't see many people at all so I look forward to your chatty videos bless your heart <laughs> oh my goodness get over here hang on it's like having a lovely visitor and I don't feel like I'm completely on my own oh well that's sweet <laughs> quick question what is the best thing that your husband has ever made for you or your home thank you Olivia Olivia and all I'm telling you you guys Chris makes so much and has made so much through the years that it's really hard for me to choose just one thing. <clears throat> so I'll tell you about some of the things he's made. I think one of my all time favorites is the, the, the shelf actually, and this is a small thing, but it's the shelf that I have hanging in my powder room. He made that and at first he painted it and he, and he didn't want to paint it because he doesn't like to paint wood and I normally don't either. I don't paint a lot of wood as you all know. But I said I wanted a burgundy shelf with a beadboard on the back of it and whatnot. And he's like, you want me to paint it? I said, yeah, I want it painted kind of, we had the room in our other house, we had like below the chair railing painted a really dark burgundy color. And I said, I want to paint it that color. And he was like, oh, okay. So, I mean, he's a true woodworker who doesn't want to paint wood, you know? So anyway, he made me that. And then he just recently painted it black for me. And I have it hanging in my in the powder room above the toilet there. And I love that that little shelf. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, he has made end tables before with Queen Anne legs. He made Candace a beautiful or Kristen a beautiful vanity uh, that she's taken with her. Uh, Candace, he made an end table or a bedside table that's actually up in the happy room right now. Uh, what else a TV entertainment center yes back when we had like TVs that would fit <laughs> and you know he made it, it, it he made it with really tall we had whoa vaulted ceilings in our in our other house so he made it really tall and it was beautiful so I'm trying to think what else he makes stuff all the time though he he made a little uh, I've asked him to make another one too for the back of one of our end tables. He doesn't just make stuff that's pretty. He makes functional things too. Uh, oh, I got to tell you a story about one year. I'll get back to that in a second. And I got to hurry here because I'm almost to my, my hairdresser here. But <laughs> we had a microwave in our first house. No, it was in our second house. It was in our second house that we lived in for like 26 years. And he, he our microwave handle broke. The handle on our microwave broke. And I was like, oh my goodness, are we gonna have to get a new microwave? Because there's no, you know, Chris, well, I can't find a replacement. There's no replacement parts available. Of course, we'd had it for like a decade already, you know, this microwave. And so then he said, well, let me see if I can make one. I said, what? You're gonna make a microwave 
handle? He said, just let me see what I come up with. Well, do you know what, you guys? Here he comes upstairs after however many hours, and he had made the, the prettiest handle for our microwave. Well, that microwave lasted another five or six years, and finally it broke, and we couldn't find replacement parts for it so we finally had to get rid of the microwave and that's when I that's when I get new stuff like that you know washing machines and you know appliances Chris can fix everything he fixes everything he fixes it, uh, never had to call a plumber never had to call an electrician I mean he he fixes everything and he makes everything so he made that handle and that you know helped us you know not have to go out when we were younger we didn't have money to just go out and go willy-nilly go buy a microwave we didn't you know it was tight back then so then uh but what i was talking about he made a a little trough box that uh he hung on the back of my end table that sits there with all my cords you know so i can put my my computer like charger thing in the back of that it's just a little little cubby kind of a little box so I've asked him to make me one for the other side. I hate wires. I hate being able to see wires like spread all over the floors and stuff. So, but he made me that. Anyway, he's amazing. He's obviously, he's an amazing husband, father, grandpa, you know, all of that. He's just, he's an amazing man who is multi, multi, multi talented. And there is one big puddle. Goodness gracious. And it's raining. So, all right. I am here at my hairdresser. There goes my hairdresser right through the parking lot. Right there she goes. She, I must be her first appointment of the day. <laughs> and I will park my car right beside her. I'm going to give her a minute or two to get in there. I'll come back and show you my hair whenever she gets it done here. So I'll come back and do that. And then I'll say my final words then. And then we'll morph in to uh, that little bit of footage that I have in the bedroom up there. Okay, and that'll do it for this video. I'm not sure if I'll get this up Thursday evening or Friday morning, maybe. I'm not sure which one. Hopefully Thursday evening, but, you know, it just depends on how much time I, I have this afternoon. But uh, I think I say this in my footage from yesterday, but I will not be coming back until next week after this. Uh, you know, Barb and Dawn come Monday. So, you know, we're going to be busily about with them for the week and I will come back and put up videos if I can and I know you guys will forgive me if I can't you know but if I can I'll put up you know a few few little videos or a couple little videos if I can so but anyway if not then I'll see you the next week you know with uh you know and I'll tell you all about our, all about our time with them they don't leave until the next Tuesday so you know they're gonna be here a good solid week you know so you know uh, and then after that, we'll start on after, you know, I come back and tell you about our time together and whatever else I have to tell you then, I will be uh, starting on my fall decor. <gasps> Yay. So, we got a lot coming up. So, anyway, I'll be back. I'm going to head in here and get my hair did. Got to get my mask on here. Got my mask. These are the Chris, again, Chris, you know me and sewing. I don't sew. I can. I, I can sew a lot, but I hate it. So Chris made us these masks. I think I've showed you these before. So he made these. So I am going to get my mask on, which, you know, I do. There we go. Fashion statement that I am. <laughs> and I'll be back. I'll see you in a little while. Hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> And, oh my goodness, my hairdresser, Billy, she did a wonderful job. Look, 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 she gave me some highlights. Just some, just like six, six foils right along the top. And, oh my goodness, they look so pretty. They look so, so pretty. And it is raining, and I don't have an umbrella. <laughs> so, I did get a little wet. I put my sweater above my head uh, on my way out. It is definitely cooling off around here, and... Oh my goodness, it's just raining like cats and dogs. But anyway, I'm off to meet Chris for lunch, meeting him at our little Vinny's restaurant, our little Italian grill, meeting him there. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna have, either a chef salad or I may have a sandwich today. I'm not sure which one we're gonna have. I oh, had that mask on the whole time. Whew. That is the most uncomfortable thing, I will say, when you're getting your hair done. 
and uh but anyway it is what it is it is what it is you can see she didn't cut a lot off of my hair she did a little bit off the top and off of the bangs a little bit just because i can't go without my bangs although i do sweep them sometimes a little bit like she's doing trying <laughs> But anyway, I love it. I think she did a fabulous job. Just a fabulous job. She always does. She's just an amazing. I'm so blessed to have her, you guys. I'm so blessed to have her and have had her for, oh my goodness, I don't know, over 20 years now. And she's just amazing. So, and she keeps up with the trends. Uh, sorry about that. Chris called me. Oh my goodness, where was I? Oh, about my hairdresser. She was, uh, but anyway, she's fabulous. And I love her and... I wouldn't know what to do without her. Honest to goodness, I wouldn't. She gives me the, the prettiest haircuts. And oh, well, that's what she said. I said, uh, Billy, what's on trend nowadays? And she looked at me and she went, well, you know, uh, and she did say to sweep my bangs to the side or whatever would be more on trend, you know, and I'm like, I'm sorry. I just can't do that. I love my bangs and I don't feel like I look right without my bangs. So we're keeping my bangs. <laughs> But I always try to keep up to, you know, and she said, you're pretty much on trend, Arlen. She said, your hair is, is a good style. She said that, you know, you can do different things with it. Not that I ever do, you know, but she said for the way you dress and what you do and, and, and how you present yourself, she said, your hair is great, you know, and, and, you know, it's just, it's, I'm letting it grow a little bit more because I want to put it back up. I like to get it back up, but whatever. Anyway, regardless, I'm yammering. <laughs> what in the world is new? So we changed our mind. We're not going to Vinny's. We're going to go to another little Italian place that's really closer here to me. So uh, we really like their calamari. They they have the best calamari. Oh, it is so good. So we're going to get a little calamari, and then we decided um, I'm going to have a chef salad, and so is he. So I think that's what we'll have today. And that'll be it and then i'll get home and i'll try to get this stuff edited all of my footage edited and get it up hopefully by this evening i don't know it's after one o'clock now so hopefully i'll be able to get it get it up for you guys this evening but if not it'll be tomorrow morning y'all for stopping so in here with me today uh and spending you know however many minutes of your time with me i appreciate you all i love every single one of you i appreciate every single one of you all of your comments I'm I'm not been you know able for several months now to get back to all my comments and you guys know that and you know I appreciate that and know when you see my heart you know that I've read your comment and if there's a question within a comment I usually try to answer it or I save it for a Q&A one or the other depending on how in depth the question is or if it's just a quick question that you need about a certain item you know that i then i tell you guys uh don't forget to check out my amazon shop storefront in the description it's always there always linked and uh subscribe if you haven't <laughs> i'd sure i'd sure love to see your you subscribe and and i guess that's it you guys so uh let me just say that i hope that all is well with everyone and that I hope that those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Alrighty, everybody. Here I am at the top of my staircase here. There's the kitchen over there and the eating area and the Family room, my shoes, Chris's shoes, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't have my decorative lights on yet. Uh, but I've been up here working and I needed to go ahead and do this off camera today. You guys, I'm really struggling with my back. And you guys did not need to hear me <laughs> grunting and groaning and whatnot. So to tell you the truth, I didn't get rid of anything. It was either it went in this bin to be put downstairs or it was trash. 
in the trash bag. There I have all of the bedding, even the comforter. I'm gonna go ahead and wash that. Uh, and so the bed doesn't have any bedding on it, but y'all have seen that 500 times before. So all I did is I cleaned out every single drawer. I still had to vacuum up here, or Chris will for me. And I used placemats that I got off of Amazon and I lined the drawers with placemats, with purple placemats. And I even did these with them. So I lined all of the drawers and I may clean a couple of these things off of here, maybe the dolls off of here and spread everything out a little bit on the dresser before they get here, just to give them room, you know, to put their whateverness out. You know, I don't want them to have to be fighting the decor. So I'll probably move some of that stuff out of the way so that they have room. Uh, have the fan going up here and we have the air conditioner on and we uh, plugged in one of our air purifiers up here. You know how places get when, you know, they haven't been moved around in much. It's not really stuffy, but it's, I, I want to get the air moving up here. So we turn the air conditioner on and everything else. So I also cleaned out the closet. You know, I had some, just a few things in here that I wanted to get out, like extra blankets and whatnot. That's all the Christmas decorations that'll go over on the dresser. And I just left them up in here. An extra pillow. That's my dad's electric blanket and an extra blanket that I don't think they're going to need. Here's all the hangers. I've got plastic hangers and I've got regular hangers. The vacuum cleaner will come out of here. There's a couple of more drawers there if they want to use those. And here is that uh, basket that I got for the hamper. And I'm not sure if anybody will want to get on the scales, but I have some scales up here too. <laughs> Cleaned out, there wasn't anything in these drawers to clean out, so, but I just lined them with uh, a couple of more placemats that I had left over, and then I left them a, uh, you know, a power outlet thing, just in case they brought their computers and wanted to plug more stuff in, I left them one of those up here. Here's the purple mirror that I got, and, uh... They have a clock, you know, beside the bed. I need to set that. And it's thundering outside, so sorry about that. Here's the bathroom. As I told you, it is tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny. But there's the new shower curtain, which is really pretty. And I put the basket of towels outside the door, right outside the door. Oh, that's another thing. I uh, turn the light off in here. I got, I hung the extra over the door hook hanger thing here on the closet door so they can hang clothes or you know whatever like a hanging cosmetic bag or whatever you know there they do have a tv you know that will work up here back to the bathroom again like i said it's very small so you know hopefully it will be okay for the two of them i think it will be you know and there's the dixie cups and i've got some q-tips there some soap and lotion from Bed Bath or Bath and Body Works. A little candle, just in case they wanna, you know, turn a candle on at night. Sometimes we all do this on the cruise ship and have a little candle, you know, burning so they can, you know, find their way to the bathroom when you're in an unfamiliar place. It's kind of nice to have a little light, you know. And there's the toothbrush holder. And then in here, here's, you know, a little bit of room concentrating spray and then I have like makeup removers there and I've got extras in here you know and then here in the shower I've got their poofs and uh, shower cap and I put all of their you know shower gels there and some and some shampoo and conditioner. I'm feeling Barb will bring her own because she is a hairdresser, so she probably has her favorites, but we can move that out of there. She doesn't want it in there, so. And I took down all of the towels out of here and I'm gonna wash everything, so. And then here's her little care package basket that I really didn't add anything to. It's just the same stuff. I've had, I have a towel usually hanging over there and I'll put that back when I get it washed. But uh, fingernail polish remover and more Q-tips and cream and shower gel, more shower gel. And, uh, 
you know, hand sanitizer. And this is a little first aid kit and tissues and a razor and toothbrush and fingernail file and, you know, all kinds of goodies in here if they ever need, you know, to use anything. That's their, the little basket that goes in here. So this sits on the side of the house. This room looks out on the side yard. And uh, no worries about anybody looking in here except for the deer. <laughs> so, and then I've got one of these spiffy lines up here. And Chris wants me to close before I leave, so I'll come back over here and close it. But these are really nice. These are from Levelor. I got, I got them. them from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I can no longer find them on their site. So, but they're the kind that you don't have to, you know, like yank down on so that they, you know, go back up. They go, they stay wherever you put them. See that? So, but I think everything is ready for them. I do have a mirror on the back of the door here, full length mirror on the back of the door. It has a couple more hooks on it there. And then there's a hook over the door too. So I think that uh, they will have everything they need. And if not, we can sure get it for them, <laughs> you know? So I'll take a final picture of everything. If I can get it all put back together by the time I get this video up. If not, watch my community post and I'll put it up there or my Facebook group. So, but anyway, yeah. I said my uh, final words in the car. So let me, Toodle around here real quick, excuse the garbage and the bedding. Just to, for those of you who might not have seen the bedrooms up here, this is what we call the turquoise room. And this is where our daughter Kristen usually sleeps. So, and then of course this is the landing and I move that vase by the way up here and just move the lantern down on the floor. I love it. I think it looks super pretty up here. And then this, of course, <laughs> is little Mr. Maverick's place right here, his little nursery. And this is what we call the happy bedroom up here. And this will, is where Dustin, Candace, and Maverick will stay. I'll put a link to where we put that together. Chris made that. It's my concept and he made it. I made the, you know, the spray. So I need to get some pictures. That was before he was born. <laughs> I need to get some more pictures put up in here. <laughs> so, but that's it. That's our upstairs. We don't have a big upstairs. I think it's about 950 square feet here's the happy bathroom what we call the happy bathroom again the same size as the purple bathroom only it's not an ensuite the other two bedrooms share this so but that's it you guys i am ready for them to come and again i don't know when i'll be coming back to you guys hopefully next week a day with some footage of barb and dawn and whatever we get ourselves into so but until that, until I see you again, I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and I hope that everybody is doing okay and please know that I love you and you're always in my thoughts and my prayers, you guys. So I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye now.